Hello everyone, this is the Prussian Prince. What are our hearts of iron for? Let's play episode as France. So that being said, we gotta get our stuff rolling. So our garrison here, we don't wanna do this. So we're not gonna destroy it, because we need it. And Division Infantry d'Alpine. That's a lot of uh, mountaineers. So yeah, I'm not gonna touch that division for a while, because we don't have the army experience. Otherwise, I would really be editing it right now, because we don't need so many Mountaineers, really. That's a ton of Mountaineers, which, frankly, are useless. To, we don't want that many. However, we want a political guy that's going to give us more and more political power gain, because, really, that is something that we need. What else do we need? Nah, this is not so useful. War Industrialist will be good, I think eventually and none of these guys okay so political advisor we do want yeah more than 15 percent of world tension five percent mm. yeah this is a problem we gotta be at war there's the british to our side what ouch Diplomatic objection, of course, it would be too rough. We don't want to do anything weird, do we now? Okay, so we finished that. Next. Well, obviously. Well, getting rid of the... Strengthening the government. Little untaunt. No, go with Britain. And strengthen government, decisive stratagems, yeah, but we want to go with metropolitan France. And then we still have no political power because we gain, like, nothing. No political power whatsoever at all. We gain nothing. Which is very sad, but that's because we're France, so... And we don't have so many factories either. Nor do we have as many research slots as Germany, so we're in a bit of a pickle. Electronic Mechanical Engineering, though, is a very nice tech. And with mechanical computing, we're going to get even lower research time, which is something that we do want. But doesn't help us as much, because if we have more research slots, obviously the lower research time would help much more. But with three, it's kind of debatable if the boost is actually worth it or not. But anyway, what we need is a ton of infantry equipment, as you can see here. People have the right to feel safe. No. Hmm... And why not? Obviously. Early mobilization. Well, let's see. It's definitely better than... I mean, of course. Why would we not pick early mo mobilization, right? And then we also want partial. Let them strike. What? No... Let them strike, why not? We don't want anything else. We don't want... We don't want to become communists, so... It's not something I really want to touch right now. Metropolitan France, that is very good, of course. We're gonna go for some... Uh, industrial expansion. It's gonna be very good for us. And other than that, we're gonna go get this concentrated industry. Which is very good. We have plenty of civilian factories, obviously, but we don't have enough military factories. By far, we just have six military factories. It's just... It's way too little. But yeah, soon we're gonna be done with all these civilian factories, and then we can just go mass military factories. Modify government. Well, this is an interesting one, but I think I'm gonna go for the political power gain one. So this gives us a ton more political power. You see, just look at that massive political power gain that we now gain compared to before. Well, it's not massive. I mean, Germany still gets a ton more, but hey. So this African theater right here is settling in. I could ask to join faction. They would agree, but 
world tension would have to be much higher than that. Hmm. Construction one is very good. We could get the next one, but it's not really available right now. So what we can do is we can gain the resource gain. We can get the resource gain efficiency, which I'm not sure about because we have massive surpluses in most of these areas and we can use our civilian factories anyway to buy resources. So what I propose instead is that we get the radio, which is very nice because uh, it provides reinforced rate. Uh, but let's take a look at our other trees. We're kind of behind here. Um, engineers are definitely useful. We might want some of those. Do one logistics company too. Industrial expansion. Okay. So now I want military factories. That is something else that is quite useful to go for. No longer get the effects from factory strikes. Well, that's useful. That's very good, actually. We still don't have a massive need for infantry equipment. I think I'm just gonna... Okay, we can compete again. Yes, please compete again. Games are concluded. We need factories working much harder. Much, much, much harder. Okay, so we gained another civilian factory. That's good. And we can keep making all these civilian factories right now. Because the civilian factories are really boosting our capability. But the military factories from here. It's going to be so many factories, it's going to like double our military factories count. Which is really going to be helpful. Really. Okay, so finally Ethiopia was taken. That's a bit sad, but nothing we can do to prevent that really. Uh, I'm going to want to recruit some of the mountaineers though. So yeah, let's start training some uh, alpine divisions here. Oh, no serial training. Just do it infinitely. So we're gonna make, let's say 10 of those at a time. Should be all right, I hope. Set the location here and then we're gonna assign them to that. So hopefully we'll be all right. Now if you look at the supply map mode, here we can support 129, here we can support 95. So we can build a ton more units as long as we can afford them. Extra research slot, we can finally go for this, which would be very important. We'll get it by the, the end of 1936 for sure. And then we can go jet effort. And then we can get our fifth research slot. So that would be five research slots extremely quickly into the game. So that will allow us to catch up to Germany quite nicely, I feel. And look at all of these. They're so synced. They're all synced up. This is awesome. Three at a time. Spanish Civil War. Okay, that's a problem. I can't really send any volunteers anyway, right? So, because, yeah, world tension is very low. So we can't do anything. Only the communists and the, friend, and the fascists can. So sadly, we cannot interfere in that. And look, all these at the same time were researched. Which now means we can go for radio detection. We can get, well, nothing here, really. But we can start working on, well, what do we get? Okay, disjointed government is bad. Victors of the Great War is bad. Max planning, protected by the imaginary line. You know, that's not so bad. The planning speed is bad, but max planning is actually a nice boost. Hmm. Not quite sure what I think about that, but definitely it has higher, more potential if you put it off right. So we have the Grand Battle pl ba Plan Doctrine, which just obviously not quite what we want. We want... Now I think this time around, I'm gonna go for Superior Firepower. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go for the line artillery boosts because we're gonna go like four infantry, four artillery brigades, I think, for our divisions, battalions rather. So if I switch to superior, superior firepower, I think that would be best. And then shock and awe, yeah. What does this actually affect though? I wish it, it would tell me. Oh yeah, there we go. So what does this affect artillery, support artillery and artillery? Which is massive right here, but this it's not quite, it's more like tank stuff. So I think the right side is by, 
it's actually quite a bit better for our purposes. Oh, and shock and awe right here. This is artillery as well as rocket artillery. Okay. So that's not bad at all. We'll definitely switch over to this. But, oh no, it's going to take far too long to research. <laughs> switch to... Let's get interwar artillery piece here. And we might as well. And anti-air is just... Well, it's not really what we want. But we do, however, need... Engineer company. That will be helpful because engineer companies... Essentially what engineer companies do is they boost the... They help a lot at like traversing bad terrain and... and uh, they give you an entrenchment boat boost which actually stacks up pretty nicely with... Uh, say a lot of the leaders that we have because we have defensive doctrine increases in max entrenchment an old guard also increases max entrenchment and we just got an extra research slot so yeah that's good We're also gonna need the logistics company probably but I'm not gonna touch that right now I'm gonna touch the support weapons instead and I'm gonna go for jet effort right here so we're rushing that fifth research slot very very fast as you can see here so already the year didn't even end and we got our fourth research slot I think that's really really good I don't think there's a more optimal optimal way of going about it for France. Maybe one thing you could do to get it even faster is to skip government reform. But then you couldn't get this guy so quickly that gives you an extra political power gain. So I think this is better. And we have free civilian factories, of course. Well, I'm going to build one more of that. And then it's going to be all military factories from here, I think. Because we're going to have to beef up our military. Okay. Well, they're asking... Of course. Of course we're gonna allow Republican Spain through because they're helpful. I hope Republican Spain wins, but... Let's see, current wars here, Spanish Civil War. Status quo, nothing is happening really, but the world tension. Oh yeah, Soviet Union increased it. And five divisions were sent. Come on, Soviet Union, you can do it. Italy sent some as well to nationalist Spain. And I come turn peace treaty of Addis Ababa. It dropped the world tension, funnily enough. Wait, did they actually get Ethiopia? Yeah, they did. I was like, wow, they didn't get it. If they didn't get it, that would actually be hilarious. Okay, so we have jet effort ready. So the next thing I'm gonna do is... How about I just like... Can I just like this... Remove all of them. They'll just be in our reserves, you know? Yeah, there we go. We have like so many reserves, but I'm not gonna bother right now. Okay, so we have the second extra research slot. Oh, we need more factories than 75, which is fine. Now what we can do is, we can probably just go defensive focus or support the status quo. Defensive focus, really. And which one? Hmm, this one is good, but then we want army reform. Then we want this side, too. Could we get it in time? I think we might. Because we just need to get... A defensive strategies is important. Because we will get rid of disjointed government. So, I mean, this is this is a really rough one, because we need the extra industry. And this is very good to the Van Mas, but extending the Maginot line. But no, we can always do that later. We don't have to do it right now, right? So this is rough. I think supporting this or getting the aggressive focus is uh, division defense is nice. Sadly, I'm not gonna go for this guy. And if I go for aggressive focus, I can't take these fortifications and stuff. So I think I have to go for that. Wait, what? Oh yeah, we can also finish this if we even want to. It'll give us even more civilian and military factories. If we finish both of these as well, so... Hmm. It's also good. So we got like five already. This took like a year. If we take three more... Hmm. That would be cutting it real close. But factories is always good. 
So I think I'll go for it. <sighs> but yeah, anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, follow me on social media. I'll see you next time.